Hey, it's Jackie, and today's tutorial is all about pinup girl hairstyles. These are my modern take on the classic pinup girl. I came up with a couple different fun hairstyles that are easy to achieve, and this would be perfect for Halloween coming up if you want to do a pinup sailor or just a pinup girl, or also if you just love retro looks and you want to switch it up. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had tons of fun with it. Thumbs up if you do, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my beauty tutorials, and let's get into it. This first hairstyle is girly pinup pigtails. I'm wearing this vintage inspired bathing suit as a top with bright pink lips and to start off just brush out throughout your hair and the part we are going to do a diagonal and then straight down the back of your head. This gives you a side parting which is more flattering on most people than a center part and also section off a front portion with the side that has more hair. I'm using Living Proof Dry Volume Blast, which I got at Sephora, and it's amazing for teasing. I'm gently backcombing my hair once I've sprayed this in the top sections. I just do this a little bit. I hate teasing. I try to avoid it at all costs. And then I'm smoothing over the top layer, and to really create that bump effect I want, I'm just gathering the top half of hair, twisting it backwards, and then pinning in place with an X on the part that twist that's twisted. And with the rest of the hair, just secure into a pigtail directly under the poof. I'll show you again on this side, tease a little bit, smooth over, twist, add the poof, and then just add the pony directly under again. Curl the front section of hair that we left out. I'm actually using two curling wands for this, but you could just use the mini one because a mini wand like this makes pin curl detailing really easy. So just curl roll and then pin through the center hiding the bobby pin as best as you can. I use these thick bobby pins that are dark so they're really easy to work with. So there's the first one secured and I'm just taking the rest of the hair and creating a little bit of a twist and then one more pin curl. This will vary on your hair how much you leave out front. You can do this different every single time but I think it adds some really pretty detailing. And then curl a small section within the pigtail, wrap around the base of the elastic to hide it, and then secure the hair. I secured this in a pin curl because I have so much length, so it was just easier. But if you don't have that length, then just pin it underneath the pigtail. I popped on a big pink bow on the side with less detail for balance. I got this one at Claire's. And now quickly just curl the pigtails. Again, I'm still using my two curlers, but if you have to pick one curler to go with, use a smaller barrel. And first with the medium size, I'm just curling inward. I just do this in three sections, super fast. And then I'm going to brush them out, add some more volume spray. What really gives this more of a pinup flare is using the tiny wand at the bottom of the hair for cute little curls at the ends. I'm going inwards, curling little piece by little piece, and then once I have the little ringlets how I want them, I'm going to set the hairstyle with Pantene Air Spray. I love this hairspray, it's perfect for a look like this because it holds everything in place but it doesn't weigh the look down. I love this girly look, and coming up on screen is my Kick account, I just made one, and if you already have this app, then just scan the code on screen. I actually have a bot so you guys can interact with me and leave me questions. It's just a fun way that you can interact with me as well. So make sure you check it out. My username is Jackie Wires, and on to the next look. Faux bangs, bandana bun. This look is so much fun. You'll need a bandana for an accessory. I got mine from Ardeen, or just any type of vintage headpiece. You could find such a good selection at Ardeen. I went crazy buying stuff, as well as Claire's. And I also added pops of red in these vintage inspired earrings from Mod Cloth and my bright red lipstick. As always, I'm just brushing out my hair. You guys know I love my wet brush. It's very soft on the strands. And for this parting, I'm going to brush my hair backwards and then drag the comb a little bit in the center part and create a triangular part. So I'm just bringing this forward in a diagonal on each side and this will be the portion that we're gonna work with to create some faux bangs. From here, take this section and you're going to create a smaller triangle, but make sure you keep those pieces outwards because they're going to help camouflage the bangs later on. With the bangs clipped in the front and those two side pieces hanging beside, take the rest of your hair and create a high ponytail. Once you have the pony how you like it, it doesn't have to be too perfect because we will have a bandana, but take those bangs down, 
Add a little bit of hairspray so that they stay in place and then we're going to take that tiny curler again and just do a half curl so that the bangs will curve inwards like they would if you curled them under. I want to show you guys this slowly so that you can do it because it's the key step but just curl inward one time using the barrel and then slowly take the barrel away so you have this perfect under curl. Give the curl one brush through so it's soft and easy to work with and take this end and bring the section beside over top so that you're hiding the bang and you're just going to pin this to the side of your head. I did a little bit of a pin curl just to keep it in place and we're going to hide this with a bandana. Once your bangs are placed how you like them, I added one more bobby pin. Take the tight curler and create some curls around your face. I'm still curling inwards and I created about four tight little curls. Next I'm going to take the bandana that I have just folded up myself, it was just a square sheet, folded it in a triangle, triangle, and then folded it on top of each other and I'm going to tie this around my head to hide that pin curl. Then just take those two curls surrounding your face and you're going to pin them upwards. This just looks a little bit more flattering when they're shorter and makes it more realistic like you have bangs. This hairstyle itself looks super cute in a ponytail, even when it's straight and you don't have other curls. I love this, but I decided to go in with a big bun maker I got from Forever 21, pull it through my ponytail and create just a simple bun by placing the hair around it, using an elastic so everything is covered. And then with the straight ends, I'm just curling with the little curler and pinning back around the bun so you get a really pretty detailed look and you're very curly, it has more of a messy vibe, so let me know what you think in the comments. If you love this look and want to try it out, make sure you snap a picture and tag me and use the hashtag jhairday because I'd love to see a recreation. If you're ever bored and you're looking for hair inspiration, just look up the hashtag jhairday. You'll see all my different looks and I love it on Instagram because you can just scroll through and see which one you like best and you'll also see everyone else's recreation. So make sure you contribute to the hashtag. I had lots of fun with this look. I wanted to do something sweet and different up top, but you still have that pinup vibe, and then have more of a tough girl look with this jacket that I just got from Guess. Create a deep side part and pull the front section of the hair over to one side. The rest of your hair put up in a pony so you can just start teasing the front. And I'm using the Living Proof Dry Volume Spray again. Spray both sides of each section you're working on and tease the opposite way and then repeat. The longer your hair is, the harder it is to create a really big poof, so I'm keeping mine on the smaller side but you can really tease it a bunch and get it really big if you want to. And smooth this over and curl the bottom of this section. Brush out this curl, and this look in itself is very 13 going on 30, the six chicks back in the day. <laughs> Looks really cute, but let's create that pin curl swirl. Spray as you swirl, this will keep the roll in place. This really does help, I'm using Pantene's volume up, and use a couple bobby pins to carefully secure this. For more balance in the look, I've created a little poof by twisting the hair and just pinning in place, and then another by curling twisting again just so you have a detail at all sides. I still have my hair in a pony and I'm taking this little cloth headband I made and I'm just twisting it and tying it like we did with the bandana. I really like the look of this white against my darker hair. And now with this ponytail, I'm just brushing it out, creating a little curl and I'm going to pin this in a pin curl next to um, the back of the headband. This is completely optional. I just wanted the look of like rollers without having to wear rollers like I wanted it to look almost half done that was just my idea for it but you can do whatever you want you can just leave it in the ponytail and then I'm going to pin the ponytail upwards I did this in my Audrey Hepburn look for a mini pony and I'm doing it again so I'm just rolling the hair and then pinning it to the back of my head and there is the completed look Watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these hairstyles and if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up as always and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials. You can stay updated with me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter and I just made a Kick account so if you already have Kick then just add me. I'm under a bot so I have um, my face on the beauty and fashion category and you can leave me questions on there. I'll have more information about that in an upcoming video but if you're already a user then make sure you're following me on there as well and I'd love to know in the comments 
which hairstyle was your favorite? I'm really loving this one. Uh, I love the red and the lips and the hair. I feel girly, so let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in my next video.